Hey everybody, Wade again. Gonna walk you guys through how to add items to your allow and block list and also how to use the availability calendar. So we will get started. What you're gonna do first is you're going to open up your load up app. You'll come over to settings. Right in the middle here, it'll say edit block list. So this is where we're gonna go to allow and disallow items. Say there's an, uh, an item that you don't wanna take. Uh, in this case, we will use a sofa, I guess. So we're gonna hit edit. We're gonna add to our block list items, see how you can choose. Um, let's go down to sofa, if I can find it. Whatever, we'll just go stove. So if you guys don't ever wanna take a stove, simply put the item in there, add it on block list, update driver team, and that's all there is to it. Now you will not be notified of jobs that come in with uh, stoves or whatever you know the item may be that you don't wanna take. Now, as far as the availability calendar, let's say I work a full-time job or a part-time job um, and I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. So I'll go in here, I will go to Monday, I'll take that off, Tuesday and Wednesday, just unclick those and then you'll hit update calendar. You will not be notified of all the jobs on the, uh, the days that you selected uh, that you don't wanna work. Now, in the case that you do wanna keep your calendar up and running, but you know that you're gonna be on vacation, you'll hit non-standard working hours. This way you can just add in a day that you know you're gonna be gone. So let's say I'm going on vacation from the 16th to the 23rd. Okay, so I'm gonna filter that out. And then you're gonna say that you are unavailable. This is gonna automatically mark that you will not be in town for that long. Once that expires, your account will automatically be updated. And um, you know you won't have to go back in and unclick all of the specific days. 